Okay, sorry about that. So, that is the past life reading. In this lifetime, although love is fun, that's not your main focus. Your main focus is, you know, yourself, your world, you're connecting with nature, and material things but not in a bad way more in like earning your way up and wanting to gain things and make a type of stable self-sufficient life for yourself um because in a past life you did rely on a husband and that didn't work very well and that's <sighs> plays a lot into it but I mean, you got a lot of cool shit, too. Like, I mean, you got revenge on this asshole, for sure. You killed yourself, but that was, you know, he pushed you to it. You're definitely meant to be some type of writer or artist, a homebody in your next life. And you might start feeling things like this in this life, where, yes, you love going out and doing things, but there's other things that capture your interests. Sorry, we have people doing the lawn and all of that. <clears throat> so I hope this like made sense to you or you can relate to it in some way. Um, let me know what you think about it. Let me know if you like it. I know there were two. I just got the past life oracle about three weeks ago and I've only done about th three readings with them. So not all the cards I have seen actually pop up for people. So that was interesting. Um, like the phobias and the trees. Trust and faith. I mean, I was getting the message it was trying to tell you. But, yeah, that was cool. That was really interesting. I really liked it. So now we're going to do your new um, relationship. Just to see where he's at, where you're at, and just a quick little glimpse of it. We're going to use the Romance Oracle and the same tarot deck because it's a small spread, but we'll get more information this way. We'll get the basic energy and we'll get more details about it. that I'm using is called the quickie so that's pretty fun question. Okay. 
right off the bat, I'm just going to tell you right now. Um, it looks good with you guys, but... There definitely is some type of lie. That might be coming from him, his next move. Um, but... The advice he's giving you is to, like, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So I'm not sure if this has something to do with him or your friends putting shit in your head. You know, so whatever comes first, just use your instincts. Um, this is definitely a card of, like, I should have known better type of thing. Um, I know that's scary when it comes to love, but that's why I'm saying, like, I have a feeling it has to do with friends that this comes up. That there's something that your friends are lying to you about, or, you know, if they're kind of getting too involved in your love life, or you're kind of telling them too much, and they don't have the best advice, you know, don't follow it. Listen to your own intuition, because you do know better. You don't have to, um, just go along with the program. That's the only thing, is that there, there definitely is some type of issue that is going to, like, help you make the wrong decision. But right now, um, it's saying to make the effort that right now is very social, it's very exciting that you guys are getting together, and it's fun, and it's enjoyable, and, um... It's also saying to, like, make the efforts. Uh, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So, this is definitely something that is worth pursuing. Um, just go with, you know, day by day. Take it day by day and enjoy it. And there definitely is a lot of fun to be had in this relationship. That's the energy right now. concern or challenge you both should know about is that you actually might start falling in love and he might actually start falling in love and the way I see him is he is a very like I don't want to say fatherly type figure because you know that's just weird but you're both definitely might start falling for each other. This might be like an amazing summer fling. It might be more. Um, that's definitely up to you guys. But he's definitely the type of person that like like you did you get did get true love. And the way that this could be a challenge is that neither of you maybe want true love right now. <laughs> Maybe this is going where neither of you expected it. Um, that might be a little bit of a challenge considering, you know, it definitely wasn't like planned to, you know, be this way with each other. But something you should know about him is he is, you got the emperor, so it's more of like a fatherly figure, but I don't think this is a bad thing. Hang on one moment. 